David Stagliano has been trying to conserve Montana's declining western pearl shell mussel for the last decade. That's what we want to do is to hopefully reintroduce mussels into those watersheds that we knew they were there. We were on site and saw them and now they're gone. But past efforts to relocate adult mussels have failed. So Stagliano has another idea never tried before in the West. If successful, it provides us an avenue to relocate mussels without actually moving mussels. Montana's western pearl shell mussel relies on the cutthroat trout to reproduce. After fertilization from the male, the female mussel expels the eggs out from her shell. The cutthroat sees this as bait and then ends up with the eggs on its gills. The trout moves through the stream as the mussels grow, eventually falling off onto the stream bed and become adults. Today, for the first time ever in Montana, Stagliano is trying to artificially create this process in the wild. We don't know if it's gonna work, like a lot of experiments, but we hope it does because it'll provide us a way from not moving the adult mussels, but just to move the cutthroat trout. Ooh, there's one right on the bottom in front of you, Roy. After a month with the cutthroat and mussels together in a cage, there's still no sign of mussel eggs on the fish. You know, we need happy mussels to reproduce. Clean. I think the mussels are upset that it was a little silty. Stagliano hopes with some improvements in the design, this artificial propagation will still prove to be a viable way to conserve Montana's freshwater mussels in the future. So it's discouraging, yes, but we're, we're getting the techniques down so that, you know, for other watersheds, we can hopefully do it and have success. I'm Winston Greeley out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.